All right, let's see. What sign should we do today? Let's see. Ooh. Neptune is in Pisces. Okay. So the polar opposite of that would be Virgo Pisces. Okay, so Virgo Pisces, we'll do that. Okay, what else? Woo, okay. So that's interesting because I picked up a song uh, and it was like Italian and it had, the lady was wearing like a dress with polka dots on it, which symbolizes water, right? Or it could even sometimes symbolize snow, which could be like that air energy. So it could be like a Piscean harnessing some Aquarian energy. But also I'm getting like, um, so it's like whatever was in the love department being revealed, okay, uh, in the physical reality. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Now, for finances and stuff like that, I feel like um, there's going to be some sort of harmony when it comes to uh, working out the kinks, if there were any. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Okay, so it kind of feels like the world card. Okay, the world card energy. Okay, now, let's see. Let's turn the wheel and see what happens. What's being revealed here? Let's see what's trying to come out. What wants to bubble up into the physical reality. Thank you. Thank you. What wants to bubble up in the physical reality? Last call. <laughs> I have to get to go fishing in a minute. This one flew back there. Last call. Virgo, Piscean, Energy, Neptune, anything you want to reveal? <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting is whoever was fighting for someone, the reason why they were fighting is because they want to be with you and don't want to not be with you even though they were showing some sort of fighting energy. Okay, so what is that? That's like... Um, Playful banter, right? And it could have even gone from playful banter to something else. But um, really, uh, okay, so that could have come out funky then. Okay, for someone. All right, now let's see. One is here, Unity. That came up the other day. Okay, so see, that's what I was talking about. That's the feeling that I got with that world card. Like stepping into um, a reality, right? Where, ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you got one and Ace of Pentacles, 11. So, and what's interesting is this one's got a broom. So it's like an Ace of Wands feeling creative about how to bring in stability and money and finance and love. Okay, so whatever was hidden is going to be revealed. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So, Mars. Now, this was coming up as the um, the death card, the Scorpio energy yesterday. Mars, the planet of action, and Pluto. See, yesterday I picked up the Pluto part first, and then I had to go back because I was like, no, that was like Mars, kind of Scorpionic Mars. Anyway, so any, it was like a combination. The planet of transformation water fixed energy motto i am forever transforming okay so that was the feeling that whatever was being seen in the physical reality wasn't permanent it had a feeling of impermanence yesterday okay and what's interesting is you know i was watching that thing and um someone said um uh, um it was like a water energy, and a lot of times I pick up water energy as wands, like queen of wands. Okay. All right. 
right, so, and then I feel like this is saying 11. Leader, leaning edge energy, anybody's on the forefront trying to express love in a new way. Um, anything else that came out back here? No, that's it. Okay. Oh, no, here. Yeah, I knew there was something. Okay. All right, so... What do you see here? I see starry eyes, like hope for the future. Okay. Now, what I'm getting is, uh, this is a career thing for someone. In the physical reality, there could have been... A mirroring when it comes to I'm getting like um, being sheltered energy right so that could even be like a leader who uh, I'm trying to find the word here okay so what I'm getting with this is it's important to uh, be the one who looks into the physical reality, right, um, of what is unfolding and not just, it's not about not trusting. It's like if you have a team that comes to you and say this, this, and this happened, right, then it's like that's fine, but don't receive it at face value. Go deeper. So what does that mean? Okay, so it's like if you have a team that is telling you something, it's like look for the deeper meaning yourself. So let's say you're old-fashioned and you don't go on the internet and this and that. It might be asking you to go into tech and dive deep dive yourself to pull up the, the uh, creative stuff. Okay. It's, yeah, so it's not like not trusting who comes to you and discloses information of what's going on. It's like being in the light to know enough to move things forward. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So let's say that you don't, since we got 11, let's say that you don't, going into the, the depths, right? Let's say that you... You rely on your delegation or your team that comes to you and gives you information about what's going on here or what's going on there. It's very important to access that information yourself. That's what I'm getting. It's not about not trusting, but it's also using your wisdom and your perception point from right where you are to add into the melting pot of creation, which is this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So those are like messengers, you know? So it's like that's, the, I feel like that's another reason why it's coming up as an Ace of Pentacles. It's like, um, that's what I'm getting is messenger energy. So it's like, don't just listen to what the messages are coming to you from the outside world, okay? The physical. All right, so. All right, so what do you see here? While you do that, I'm going to pick up three cards from here. I am forever transforming. Oh my goodness, the whole thing wanted to fall out. Okay, I'm going to take the one that flipped up. Okay, so air energy, I picked that up. Be honest with yourself. There is somewhere in your life where you haven't been up front. Okay, so that's important. I'm going to take all the ones that flipped up. Okay. It's <laughs> my workout. <laughs> okay, so let's say you you feel like you can't say what you really feel, right? So that can lower energy. So um, at least release it to spirit, right? Or write it in a journal, release it and burn it, or whatever it is. I feel like it's calling for you to revert. Uh, revert. What is the reverse? 
Okay, so it's like moving in a higher vibration. Okay. All right, somewhere in your life where you haven't been up front. Have you been up front with yourself? Okay, so bear. Be sensitive to where you are at and reflect on where you would most need healing. Okay, now this is interesting. Some of you, it might be a simple summer message, like go to the beach. I feel like you would feel light as a feather if you go to the beach like the bear did, right? And um, don't let humans rain on your parade. Just enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing Spirit showed me yesterday was this interesting video. So now with the Scorpio energy, it could be like family entanglement, right? Okay, talking about legacy in the future and uh, things that are going to be passed on. And it was about the story. <sighs> it was about two brothers and... One went on his way to Chicago or something, and then the other one stayed with the parents. Well, what happened was, as I was watching, um, when the parents passed away, the, the father left part of the farm or something to the other son. Okay, and I found that interesting. So, the weird thing about that is, when he went to go visit the brother, right, he decided to go visit the brother when the father passed away, and, uh, and he was uh, poisoned by um, his brother, and uh, they put him in the coffin, okay, and then the bear came, and uh, anyway, it's a long story, but... He survived, and he was so upset about what happened, but the bear revealed whatever the truth was, that the brother was upset and jealous, okay, about uh, the, the other one getting, uh, you know, a portion of the uh, will or something. But the weird part about that was... This one was already abundant in mind and was would have been willing to just hand it over to him, right? But this one was like um, behind the scenes sneaking and doing this kind of stuff, okay? So I feel like what this is saying is go into the depths of what you think, um, what you've been thinking about and see if you could pull it up into the, the higher realms. Okay, now... Believe in your own power. So that sometimes is people feeling like there's lack mentality going on, right? That someone is getting more than the other one or something like that. Okay, so. And this could end up in ego battles and stuff like that. So um, feeling confident in, the, in your own power to bring in money, love, or whatever it is that you need, right? Okay. The flower of life. Connect to the energetic world of our soul where compassion and unconditional love reside. Okay. All right. Anyway, the, back to the bear story. The bear story was that um, on a deeper level, that um, no matter what the animal is or the animal nature, there was this deep love and compassion. And a lot of times humans dismiss that animals have any kind of uh, depth of feeling at all. Okay, so this is like saying, um, yes, they do have feelings and compassion also. Okay. And if things happen to animals recently, maybe that's a call for love, right? Venus energy. A call for love. Ooh, like that song. Interesting. Okay. Now, where compassion and unconditional love reside. Yeah, and that it was like that... that one was disappointed, right? 
in his brother. And, but he made peace with it. And how he made peace with it was through connecting with nature and um, other bears, right? And helping them. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's use this deck here. Venus and Mars is in Leo. So that could be the Leo energy here. Feeling lighter about yourself, right? Even as you go into the depths of your emotion. And as you come up, right, the pearl diver, it's like you reveal something shiny and beautiful like the sun, Okay, or a flower, or a passion flower, right? Okay. Saraswati Temple, knowledge. I open my heart and mind. Okay, so like the world, right? The world card could represent temple, your body temple, but also the universe, the temple that is the universe. Okay, so that's that one energy again. Knowledge, I open my heart and mind. Ooh, Mother Ganges, liberation. I honor my sacred temple. Yeah, I feel like that's like calling on that divin uh, divine feminine energy. Oh, look at the swan here. Mother Ganges, liberation. I honor my sacred temple. Woo! See that Neptune energy. Underwater temple growth. I consciously change and evolve. And sometimes when people resist change, right, it can look funky in the world. Okay. All right, but there has been a call to change. Okay. All right, now let's get some tarot here. Oh, wait. I want to go back to this. say here I see also two star beings coming together so it could be like two air signs two people who are in the limelight that come together and burst something new through collaboration energy all right. Ooh, okay. So lazy nights. Okay, so that could be the Piscean energy, right? Um, and it's, it, okay, or Virgo, depending on where they are uh, energetically. But that was like moving from couch potato to goddess. Okay, so now that could feel like wanting to extend love and then feeling like your night is the slow night, like the night of pinnacles. Okay. Rambunctious whales. Now that could be a Scorpio for someone or a Leo for someone, or maybe even, uh, I would even say uh, Aquarius since we got feather in, or Gemini. Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Libra. Okay. Now, that could call, cause someone to feel uh, like things aren't happening, right? If It might even feel like delay for some when there isn't. I'm getting, getting picking up like fast energy. Rambunctious whales. Okay. Now, okay. <laughs> 
Okay, I got Orca, and for me, that's like free willy, like wanting to free willy. Okay, now, the other thing that I'm getting with that is animals communicating through the sonic sounds of the universe, like the Orca whales, right? And lately, it seems like in some region, they've been aggressive, and I feel like what I pick up from that is... Um, sensitivity due to the fact that there are some beings that weren't that kind to these creatures that were, I want to say, at the submarine level. Okay. Because I'm getting that book um, about the submarines, a thousand something or another. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. All right. So, um, now, a lot of times they play, right? And I feel like uh, they could be doing some sort of reflecting here, okay? So even animals can communicate back, right? Okay. And for some of you, this could be like moving from your animal nature to something that's higher, okay? Now, intricate hat. I'm getting those tall hats um, by a certain designer, right? I posted a video the other day, and I, a boy George wore one of those. And I want to say uh, Erica Badu wears them too. Now, if you're a designer, what that's asking for is to kind of step, step outside of... Don't play it safe. Step outside of the box and do something different. Okay. All right. So intricate hat, though. What I'm getting is, um, you know, those fascinators and the lace and the feathers that are on hats. Okay. And hand, detailed handwork I'm getting on maybe even like a cotton lace I'm getting old cotton lace like Victorian okay so what am I getting with that keys I'm getting keys for some reason Ooh, let's see what that is Since we're talking about Venus energy, let's get, I'm going to come over here and get um, these, the roomy. Now that it does not fit within any limit, I break every limit. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's what I was getting. It's like gone through the door of change. This dark and enraged dust is grateful to heaven's wheel. For through its graceful turn, I have become the receiver of light. Woo! Oh, yesterday, that was interesting. I was driving and... Um, okay. I was driving and I picked up L-I-G-H, right? So it's like someone who has said something that may have not been that honest. All they need is that T on there, right? <laughs> All right. So, woo! The awakened heart is like a lantern. Oh, that's that Virgo. Okay. Keep it sheltered from the turbulence of the winds of desire. Okay. But I feel like there's a calling here for love. Okay. All right, so it's like, don't let it blow you in places uh, that um, when you are not desperate for life, you give life. When you are not in pain, you become cu the cure. You will no longer look for solutions. You become the solution. All right, so those are the keys. Don't be held captive. Your life has no border or shoreline.
And I feel like that's where the birthing comes in, whether it's some of you might be having kids. Okay. As I looked for myself, I could not find me for my body had become all soul in the tenderness of love. Okay, so that's what I feel like it's going to keep repeating itself. The call for love, right? Okay. All right. I was picking up a Dolly Parton song, and I posted that this morning. Okay. All right, so let's see what Tarot says. So we've got knowledge. Moving with your wisdom from the past helps liberate the now. Helps you feel more free now. And there is growth coming. Woo! Okay, so reap the benefits of hard work. There may be lack of direction around you. Pick up the tools you need to do the work. Your zeal for control could be stumbling at the stumbling block. Okay, so control issues came out the other day. It's like let loose a little bit, right? Okay, so that might be for some of you, delegate more if you're feeling like things are heavy. Generous, generosity pays for itself. Sweat equity works better than a cash handout. Lead by doing. All right, let's see what else comes up. All right, page of pentacles. Now, for some of you, this is like... Yeah, it's like working out the kinks within the family dynamic and um, also for some of you it might have been a little bit of worry there. Okay. Alright, so King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, open your heart up to the beauty and magic of the world. Romantic daydreams can be indulged. Someone may surprise you with the declaration of adoration. Wander your, own in, uh, wander your own inner landscape. Dream a little dream today. Tell someone how much they mean to you and let your heart lead the way. Okay. Two of Wands. An action must be taken. Sometimes all the options are good. Your role is to step into one of the one, one or the other. Which one will you choose? Remember that this is about fully committing to choice. You can't hold on to one while pursuing the other. Pick one now. Okay. Yeah, it's just like choose and go in a direction. If that doesn't work, then, you know, uh, recalibrate. That's all that means. Okay. All right. Anything else? What's the next card? Ooh, the strength card's coming up. So for some of you, it could be like calling for earth and fire energy. Um, and the, the harmonizing energy is like movement and love. Okay. Be your strongest self. Tame your wilder nature while honoring that same strength of will. By channeling your inner ferocity, you can alter an unpleasant situation. Oh, that's what the bear did. It was like it called on the human to help and, um... And then the human came, even though there was fear there, and uh, and was able to help the the younger bear. Okay, so don't try to force yourself to do something you just don't care to do. Follow your inspiration, or move with your inspiration. Choose your work for yourself rather than against yourself, right? Yeah, so doing what feels good to you. All right. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, sometimes that's the thing, right? It doesn't always feel comfortable to take risk and go beyond your comfort zone. But I feel like what this is saying is... If you move, it's going to come out more beautiful than you imagined. Okay. Now, let's... Ooh, this looks like a dragon's tail or alligator skin. 